So last about board problems, so far, are they hard, easy for you, completely foreign? You know, we wanna go ahead and kind of assess really quick where we are before we dive into this problem because I wanna let you know that every word problem that you can run into, absolutely doable. It just depends on how much experience you've had. So remember, no matter what, the first thing that we're gonna do with every word problem, you'll see it at the top left. What do you want, what do you have, and what's the connection? We can stay calm through this process and really see, hey, what mistakes are we commonly making? How can we correct those? And how can we continue raising our confidence? So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's have some fun. First things first, again, what do we want? Remember that what that refers to right there. What that refers to is, hey, what's the question? What are we looking for? Why do I care about this problem? You know, you don't want to go ahead and start reading through all the information because you don't know what you're supposed to do with it. So the best way to get started is simply going to be to read the question sentence. What do we want? Go right there. We see it says, how much should you expect? to pay to ship the item. Okay, cool. Now, I don't know how I'm gonna get that number, but I do know that I'm looking for how much it's gonna cost to ship an item. Cool. So let's just go ahead and start off right there. How much should you expect to pay to ship the item? So what we want is we'll pay blank dollars to ship the item. Just like that. Again, keep it nice, calm, cool, and collected and you're gonna give yourself a chance to, again, point out what you're doing well and what you need to work on. The hardest part about practicing for the ASVAB, in my opinion, is knowing when you're ready. Knowing that you are good to go and move on from this topic, and that's why our full program has a progress dashboard, letting you know exactly what you're good at and what you need to work on. And the great thing is, you can join our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. That's our trial that's available for you. So go ahead and text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or click the link in the description of this video to get started and have yourself a good time. Go ahead and do it, my ASVAB party people. I'll see you in there. So step one, boom. We know how much we're supposed to be expecting to pay. Next up, let's read the information and see how anything that we're told in this problem can help me get to how much I'm paying. That's all I care about. So let's go ahead and get into it here. Number two. Number two, what do we have? So. Right here, what do we say? Well, let's just go through the information and highlight the information we have. So you'd like to ship an item that weighs this much right here. So let me write that right there. The item weighs one pound, 11 ounces. Okay, cool. Next it says right here, the post office charges $5 for the first four ounces and $3.50 per ounce thereafter. Okay, so this is actually a pretty big and pretty useful piece of information, both of these actually because it's gonna tell us exactly how we're gonna to get to however much we're supposed to pay. It's gonna tell us how we're gonna get there. Watch this. So I'm gonna highlight this right here. Charges $5 for the first four ounces, and I'll use purple for this, $3.50 per ounce after the fact, thereafter. So what does that all really mean? So what this means is we have the package that is, again, one pound, 11 ounces, and the way that we're structuring this payment, the way that it's structured is like this. So step one, the first four ounces that we see right here, the first four ounces is just five bucks. So let me write that right here. So first four ounces, that's gonna be again, $5. And then for the rest, the rest, that's gonna be $3.50 per ounce. And if you're familiar with the word per, that means that whatever is after the word per, you multiply by that to get the total. So $3.50 per ounce, you multiply by the number of ounces to get that total. So let's go ahead and break it down a little better here because there's one little thing that we might be ignoring. And it's the fact that we're gonna have to do a unit conversion here. So if you already realized that, great job. If you already did realize it, go ahead and leave a comment in the chat box or in the comment box below. And if you did already see it, go ahead. Or if you didn't, go ahead, let me know. I wanna see if that's a common mistake for you. So here we go. We see that we have a one pound and 11 ounces. So if we wanted to, we should do this. Again, the first four ounces, we'll take that out of here. We'll take that out because that first four ounces is just gonna be five bucks. So boom, if we take that away, this right here, the one pound 11 ounces, turns into one pound seven ounces. Does that make sense there? Again, from 11 ounces down to four ounces, because again, the first four ounces, that's gonna be five bucks. So now we have the one pound seven ounces left, and that is what's being charged 
300 or $3.50 per ounce. But again, we have to convert the unit here. Why? Because we have one pound and seven ounces. That pound, we got to convert that into ounces, and then we can add it back to see how many total ounces we're being charged for. So with that said, let's go right over here. Let's zoom on in a little bit. And we have to remember here, remember the coordinate or the conversion is one pound equals 16 ounces. So there we go. This one pound, that's going to be 16 ounces. And we still have the seven ounces from before. So what we have total is going to be 16 plus seven, which is going to be 23 ounces. That's what we're going to have. So we look over here, $3.50 per ounce. That's counting for the 23 ounces. Booyah, right there, my party people. We're good. So we're going to go ahead here and say, hey, it's $3.50. Multiply by the 23 ounces. Because again, per ounce, we multiply by the number of ounces. And so we have 23 ounces. And again, we took away that initial four ounces because the $5 is the initial. And then we're adding on whatever this is going to be. So don't forget... Don't forget at the end, once you calculate this right here, we're gonna have to add back five bucks. Gotta make sure we do that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do that. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, remember that you can get the first week of my full program for free. We are the best ASVAB program in the nation and we're happy to prove it to you by letting you try it out for free for a full week. So feel free to go to that link. Go ahead and go to this QR code here with your phone. Try it out for free. But let's get back to the problem. So $3.50 times 23, all I'm gonna do here is I'll go ahead and do 3.50 multiplied by 23. And the great thing is if you know how decimal multiplication works, you can save yourself a little bit of room, a little bit of time by ignoring that last zero. Absolutely, you can do that, you're good. So booyah, we have 3.5 times 23, same exact idea. Let's go ahead and solve now. One of the most engaging and fun to use resources that I offer is gonna be my arithmetic reasoning progress dashboard. Imagine being able to track your progress concept by concept like proportions, distance rate time problems, systems of equations. Imagine being able to guarantee that by the end of it all, you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing. That's how our progress dashboard works to give you the ultimate resource to make sure that your confidence is exactly where it's supposed to be. So check that out in our full program and let's ace the ASVAB. Five times three, that's 15, carry the one. Three times three is nine, carry the one is 10. Next up, we'll carry a zero for that next digit. Then we have five times two, which is 10. Three times two, which is six, carry the one is seven. So boom, we add that back together and we have five right over here, zero and eight. And notice we have only one decimal place to deal with. So we'll bring one decimal back. So that's gonna be $80.50 right there. So again, that's gonna be $80.50, so 80.5. But remember, Again, you might be looking at the answer choices and you might be thinking, oh, hey coach, uh, looks like that's gonna go ahead and be it right over here. No, you're absolutely wrong. Because again, this covers, this $80.50, this covers the rest. We need to incorporate the $5 from the first four ounces. And so once we have that, once we add the $5 back, again, for the first four ounces, we see that we'll receive $85.50. So go ahead and let me know in the, chat, uh, in the chat here in the comments, did that get you? Did you do the math correctly only to forget that $5 at the end? Because the correct answer is actually gonna be C, $85.50. So is that something that has gotten you? Has it gotten you before? Has it gotten you often? Because remember, recognizing the mistakes helps us grow from them. So I got you back my party people. And now that you're done with the video, we have our full program for free for a full week, no credit card required. I want you to get access to all of the live classes, practice problems, and support every step of the way. And I'm here to prove it to you. Go ahead, text TRIAL to 833-321-0182, and you're good to go.